<laughs> okay. So today we have a workout. I'm going to move this around a little bit so you can see it. There we go. Can you guys see it all right? Yes. Cool. All right. So our workout today is called mashed potatoes. We're going to be working on a running clock. So what that means is that it's, uh, it's kind of like an interval workout today. Okay. That's how I want you to approach it. So the idea is that we're trying to do a tough set of work followed by a rest period. All right. So on a running clock at the zero mark, we're going to start with a 400 meter run. And then we're going to do 50 single arm dumbbell power cleans. We're going to treat this like, uh, like our alternating dumbbell snatches. Okay. So when we go into our movement demos, try to picture that. And then instead of going overhead, we're going to be going to our shoulder. And that's going to be followed by 15 burpees. Whatever time is left over, I want you to rest. So if it takes you four minutes to do it, then it'll take you'll have four minutes of rest. If it takes you five minutes to do it, you'll have three minutes of rest. But the idea is that we should be pushing super hard, ideally like trying really hard to go unbroken. So that way we have as much rest as possible. It allows us to recover the most. And then we can go into the next set. And like I said, I want you to treat this more like an interval instead of like, a, uh, instead of like an AMRAP or just like a long duration workout that's for time. I want you to earn yourself some rest. At the eight minute mark, we're going to run 400 meters again. We're going to do 40 goblet squats. That means that whatever dumbbell that I'm using, I'm just gonna hold it into the middle of my chest and I'm going to do squats that way. And then I'm going to do 15 burpees again. I'll rest the remaining time. Again, we're trying to push super hard, see if we can go unbroken. And then our final set is gonna start at the 16 minute mark. We're going to do 400 meter run again, 30 alternating, dumbbell squat clean and thruster so that means that the dumbbell is going to have to touch the ground i'll stand up i'll perform a good front squat and then stand and press okay so i'll do 30 of those and then do 15 burpees all right any questions so far about our workout anything nope. at all good there okay um so let's uh let's go into our warm up then. Let me pull it up real quick. We're going to be starting off with three rounds. We're going to do 25 good mornings, 25 glute bridges, 15 wall squats and then 10 inch worms. So let's go over our good morning and our glute bridge real quick. We'll go through that and then we'll go over the uh wall squat and the inch worm. So Set that up. All right, so the way that I want you to do your good morning, I'm gonna bring my hands behind my head, but I'm gonna have a little bit of spacing there, just so that way it keeps my back nice and flat. We're dropping at the hips, pushing back, feeling a nice stretch going through my hamstrings, staying through, squeezing my butt. That's one, two, three, I'm gonna do 25, and then I'm gonna lay down, pull my feet in nice and close, drive my hips up as high as I can, Big squeeze with the butt again, two, three, and 20. So let's start out with 25 and 20, and then we'll move on to the wall squat and the inchworm. <clears throat> yep, go ahead, Jesus. No, right, okay, okay. Yep, so let's start off with 25 good mornings and 25, or sorry, and 20 uh, glute bridge. 25 good mornings, 20 glute bridge. And so I want you to keep your hands high and your elbows back. Just that way it helps keep the back a little bit flatter, engages more of like our mid trap, rhomboid area. We have a lot of work today that's gonna be all about keeping the spine in place. So this is a good way to start practicing that.
Nice. As soon as Jesus pops up, we'll go over our next two movements, and then we'll uh, go through it two more times. Okay. Excellent. All right. So adjust this again. Okay, so we have wall squats and inchworms now. So for my wall squat, hopefully I have a space that I can do this on. If not, I'll show you what that looks like without a wall. But the idea is I'm trying to get myself as close as I can to the wall. So pretty much like touching my toes and then moving a couple inches back. Um, hands are gonna go overhead in a V shape. And I'm going to set my hips back, drag my hands down the wall. And what this is trying to do is force me to open up my hips a little bit more, open up my shoulders, kind of stress the mid erectors and mid back a little bit. Think of it as like a, a forceful opening and engagement all in one movement. Um, but I want to challenge myself to see how close to the wall I can get. So we have to do 15 of these. So maybe for my first five, I start at a pretty comfortable distance where I know I can easily move through it. And then for my next five reps, I start in a little bit closer. And then for my final five reps, I try to move in a little bit closer still, okay? If I do not have a wall to go over, my goal is going to be just trying to keep my hands over my head doing an air squat where I'm really trying to pull my hands back, keep my head and my chest up, and how well can I pull my hands back behind my head? So I'm looking for a super tall squat at this point, driving the knees out, pulling the hands back, and doing that for 15 repetitions. After we're done with our wall squat, or at least that really tough air squat, then I'm going to do 10 inchworms where I'm reaching down to the ground, walking myself out. I can pike my hips, work through my calves for a second, and then walk my hands back in. If you want to add like a push up into it, you can do a push up. But the idea is to be able to walk out, work through the calves and the ankles for a second, and then walk ourselves back in. Okay? So we're going to do 15 of our wall squat or at least hands overhead in an air squat, and then 10 inchworms, okay? 15 and 10, ready to go. Nice, Jesus, slow down a little bit, bud. Make them a little slower, there we go. Nice, now try to look at me real quick, Jesus. Huh? Look at me real quick, so see how your hands are turned in? I want yeah. you to rotate your thumb backwards. Like there this. you go. Just like that. There. It's a little tougher now. <laughs> ah, that's good though. Nice, Steve. Try to keep your elbows locked out. Really press through the elbow. Oh, okay. oh there you go. 15 squats followed by 10 inch worms. Again, I want you to focus more on like your hamstrings and your calves and ankles, but if you want to do a little bit of a push up at the bottom, you can do a push up. Nice, you guys. 
All right. Oh. Once we're done with our 10 inch worms, let's go back into our 25 good mornings. So we're going to go through this for two more sets now. So a 25 good mornings and then 20 glute bridge. Nice. Try to lift your head up a little bit, Steven. There we go. After we're done with our good mornings, we have 20 glute bridge. Nice. After we're done with our glute bridge, now we have our wall squat. There you go, Jesus. Remember, I want my thumb back and my elbow locked out the best that I can. Yep, thumb backwards. Good lockout. Try to keep them locked out. There you go. Slow down a little bit. We don't have a wall to challenge us, so that means we want to go just a little bit slower. Nice, you guys. We're doing 15 of those. After 15, 10 inch worms. Nice, you guys. <coughs> okay. Okay. Don't now we got to go through one more time. So that was set two. Now we're going through our third set. So okay. going back into our 25 good mornings. <clears throat> good. Focus on good posture as you go through that hinging. Try not to let yourselves round out. Don't try to crank down on your neck. Remember, we want hands lightly touching be able to keep our heads up nice flat backs good posture
Nice job. 25 good mornings. 20 glute bridge. Nice job, you guys. After our squats, 10 inch worms, and then we're done. there. <laughs> okay, good job. All right. Do uh do we all have a dumbbell to work yes. with? Yes. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to go over everything with the dumbbell then. Drop this down a little bit. Okay. So, first up is power clean. So, like I mentioned earlier, we want to kind of treat this more similar to like our alternating dumbbell snatch. We're doing 50 single arm dumbbell power cleans. So I'm going to be looking for that dumbbell to start in between my feet. I want both heads of the dumbbell to touch the ground, just like we were do with a power snatch. Um, but instead of going all the way overhead, I only have to come up to my shoulder. So as I go into my setup, hips are pressing back, trying to maintain good posture through my spine. I lower myself down. Notice that I'm staying over the top of the dumbbell. I want to think locked out arm, big drive with my legs and use that big drive to kind of whip the dumbbell up to my shoulder. From here, I can switch either on the floor or I can switch through the middle. Okay, either way is fine as long as both ends of the dumbbell touch the ground. And again, as I bring myself back, notice that Back is trying to stay nice and flat. I want to be careful not to let it pull on me and let it round me out, okay? So my head and my chest are going to stay up, and I'm going to lower myself into the floor instead of rounding at the spine and letting my low back take all the effort. Um, 
after that, then we have our goblet squat. So from here, I'm only gonna hold on to one end of the dumbbell. I'm just gonna keep it into the middle of my chest and perform a good squat. So dumbbell stays tight to the chest, squat all the way down, show a good lockout at the top. And then last is our single arm dumbbell squat clean thruster. And we're gonna alternate these just like how we're going to alternate the dumbbell power clean. Dumbbell's gonna start in between my feet. I'm gonna drop the chest again, lower down into the floor, big drive, clean to my shoulder. I show a full squat, drive and press. Switch to the middle, bring to the shoulder, show full squat, drive and press. If I don't feel comfortable switching through the middle, again, I can switch from the floor. Big thing here is just making sure I have enough extension to get that dumbbell to feel light up towards my shoulder, okay? If you can pull underneath it a little bit quicker, I mean, that'll definitely help. You don't have to wait as long as I did through that extension. Oh my God, I'm out of breath. Um, but the idea is that you wanna make that dumbbell feel light on the way up. So that way it's easy to catch and then easy to squat, okay? So for our warm up sets, what I'd like you guys to do is we're gonna go six of each repetition with our dumbbell, followed by four burpees. So we're going to do six alternating power cleans and then four burpees. Then we're going to do six goblet squats and then four burpees and then six squat clean thrusters and then four burpees. <clears throat> I say Zeus. <coughs> Good, Steve. Try to drop your chest a little bit more, Steve. It's okay to stay over the top of the dumbbell. There you go. How many buttons? Four. Nice. After those four, we're going to do six goblet squats, four burpees again. Good. Now we have six reps of our alternating squat clean thruster. And now we have to this? drive overhead. Yep. Okay. We'll switch arms. Good squat. Drive overhead. You got to press overhead, Steve. Oh. Thruster. There you go. Shoulder. Thruster. Uh, now you now you got to squat. Uh, there you go. <laughs> so remember, as soon as I pick up that dumbbell, I pick up, I catch, I stand through, switch, pick up, catch, stand through. So I got to press overhead for every rep. This is just for the squat clean thruster. Good. Catch, squat, press. Excellent. Catch, squat, press. There we go. Nailed it. How we started and I'm already tired. <laughs> there we go. 
Okay, guys. So I told Steve that I was going to go over a little bit of a, of a burpee mod or like a little bit of burpee talk. So remember that we want these to be super fast today, but the idea is that we want to more put ourselves in a position where we can keep going and keep a good pace versus doing five really fast and then having to stop and breathe and then doing five really fast and then having to stop and breathe. So pretty much any time that I know that I need to go fast, um, but I need to like sustain myself enough so that way I can breathe, I like to do the single leg step up instead of stepping with both feet. So this allows me to keep a little bit of a better rhythm and still maintain a good speed without like spiking my heart rate or burning myself out accidentally. So I'll go through my normal burpee lay flat to the floor, but now as I bring myself up, I'm gonna snap one leg and then stand through and touch and then switch. And now this just keeps my belly a little bit looser. And it might be like a little bit slower overall, but it's easier for me to maintain a higher effort which is what we're looking for is we're looking to like have a super high effort today and be able to maintain that high effort versus going all 15 repetitions where I bring both legs together and then potentially like spiking my heart rate or only being able to do like five reps to eight reps and then having to take a break because I'm like, fuck, I'm going to die. Okay. <clears throat> so that's something to consider. It's just stepping with one leg might feel, a little awkward at first, but as you practice it more and get used to it, it's a super handy tool, especially for something like today. Okay. Any questions so far, you guys? Why you going down instead of throwing both legs back at once, why you can't do it kind of one at a time? You could. Um, that does that is going to slow it down a little bit more, though. Um, so really on the way down, think that you're just trying to like flop to the floor okay. versus taking your time and making that slow. We want to avoid as much what's called eccentric loading as possible. So that means that the more control that I have on the way down, the more tired overall I'm going to be. So yeah, I can 100% do a single leg step back and then a single leg step up. But this is going to have more overall loading on me. So notice that as I step back, I have to hold myself in a plank position. So that's going to create some tension through my arms. It's going to create some tension through my chest. If I just kind of flop myself to the floor, now all I have to do is worry about pressing up instead of lowering myself down and then standing myself up. So it ends up creating a little, a little bit less overall fatigue, but you know, it, it does make you move faster. So that might affect your breathing. Really. It's like, where can I like keep the intensity and still be able to keep my breath? Because if I have a huge amount of intensity and then lose my breath, then, you know, I'm done. If I, you know, accidentally take, too long then I lose the intensity so it's kind of it's kind of up to you but I would recommend just kind of like flopping down to minimize that eccentric portion and then doing the single leg step up and then just trying to be super aggressive there any other questions good You're good all right well the 400 meter would be around two minutes like running yeah it should take you about two minutes so if you don't really have a distance, do you have like a, a watch? No, no, no watch. Okay. Um, but yeah, it should take about two minutes. If you had a watch, we could go one minute out, one minute back. But uh, I mean, for now, if you have like a rough estimate, then just okay. run that. And if it's not okay. quite perfect, that's okay. 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 Good. All right. So I just want you to make sure that your phones and computers are somewhere where I can see you. 
And then if we're ready to go, we're going to start. It is 50. Okay, first is 50. Then 50 uh, cleans, yeah. right? So we go 400 One. run and then 50, five, zero cleans just to the shoulder. Clean. And then okay. 15 Got burpees. And then 15 burpees. Yes. Okay. So we're only having to go from the floor to our shoulder for this first one. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. So remember, we're doing this on eight minute clocks. So we want to push super hard and earn the rest. Okay. I'll, uh, Keep this up here so that way you guys can see what your times are when you finish your burpees, if you want to keep track of your interval pace. Um, otherwise, it'll just be total time today. Okay? Ready? Ready. Yeah. 10 seconds. Ready. <laughs> Two, one, go. Nice, Steve. Power clean. 50 power cleans. Good. <laughs> nice job, Jesus. Good, you guys. Stay aggressive. Remember, we want to earn the rest. Think of this as an interval. Can you do big sets and hang on?
Nice, you guys. Coming up on four minutes. Doing really good. So we have to have a little bit of a jump at the top, Steve. Still give me a little jump. There it is. You can still step. You just want to see the jump at the top. Nice job, Jesus. Keep grinding, dude. You're almost there. <coughs> Nice, Steve. <laughs> Job, Jesus. Hang on, bud. <laughs> right at five minutes, Steve. Job, Jesus. All right, we're at six minutes. With 90 seconds. Job, Jesus. Give yourself a little bit of rest. <clears throat> All right, this goblet squat one is going to be the easiest. Okay, it's going to burn a little bit. Definitely going to be the easiest of the three, though. We have one minute. <coughs> Thirty seconds. What's that? How many goblet squats? 40. Four zero. 40. Okay. All right, 10 seconds. Three, two, one, go.
Nice job. Good, we got 40, four zero. Nice job, you guys. Good. Keep fighting for unbroken. Let it burn. Steve, we still have 15 burpees, bud. <laughs> it's okay. You're good. <coughs> We're at 12 minutes, so that means we got four minutes to go. Meet you guys. Coming up on 13 minutes. Nice, Jesus. Nice, you guys. So remember, we have squat clean thruster is our last movement. Um, might be too bright for you guys to even see me. So remember, for the squat clean thruster, hopefully you can see me. I need to make sure that after I stand up, dumbbell comes to the shoulder, and I stand all the way through. Switch, dumbbell to the shoulder, Show a good squat, stand all the way through. Good press out overhead. <clears throat> nice job, we have 90 seconds. So still got time, 90 seconds. What's 30, that? 30, 30 yes. reps. 30 okay. reps. Okay. 30 squat clean thrusters, 15 burpees. Last minute.
45 seconds. Twenty seconds. Here we go. Ten seconds. Five. Two. One. Go. 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 Nice, Steve. 30 reps. Touch, squat, press. Nice. <clears throat> Good job, Jesus. Try to stay aggressive, you guys. We're almost done. This is it. Coming up on 20 minutes. Looking good.
Nice, Steve. Good job, Jesus. <laughs> Good, Jesus. Stay aggressive. Nice, Steve. Fight for those reps, dude. It's your last 15. Good, you guys. Fight for reps. Stay aggressive. Nice job. Almost at 22 minutes, eh, Zeus? <coughs> Crushing it, bud. Here we go. Everything you got on these last 15. There's 23. Woo! Nice job. Good work, you guys. Can you see it? Good job, Jesus. Good job, Steve. Nice work. Is that pretty tough? Wow. Yeah. yeah. Nice work. Yeah. That was really good. I totally, good. Forgot, I totally forgot all about this burpees on that second round. Ah, I saw that. Yeah. That's okay. That's okay. You pushed it. You made up the time. That was good. I was super impressed that you guys were able to push for those unbroken reps. Nice job. Yeah. That was awesome. That the was pressure exactly, because you were not. Yeah, that was exactly what I was hoping to see. That was excellent. Well, cool. oh my God. you guys feel good about that today. Good. Yeah, I, feel I like awesome. the I like the rest, like the built-in yeah. work to rest thing. Dude, interval work is is super fun like that. Today today's was a good one because you were you were able to kind of like gauge how much it was that you were gonna get. Um uh -huh. it, pretty much it was always enough to allow you at least to get like eighty percent recovery. So, super awesome. We can get set up today. Okay, my friend. Okay. Have a great day, you guys. Thanks, Seth. Thank See you. Bye-bye, guys.